Morning world. Welcome to Wednesday, 30th of November. Last day of the month. If I can get this thing off. Yay! Well, I had intended to get straight off and get started, but uh, first off, a mate of mine who does car valeting just called in. I, I rang him earlier in the year and said, do you, um, do you fancy coming and giving my tractor a bloody good clean? Wants a good shine up. And he said, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And he, has, he buys a lot of firewood off me, so we're doing a little deal where he makes my tractor look shiny and I keep him warm for a while. So, uh, and I think actually maybe just under half a tank of fuel, maybe maybe I should just top this thing up with a bit of fuel, but that's okay because I want our runner to get her a bit warmed up anyway. Right, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it going. Slower than that fills. I don't know how to do. I'm not going to rip the bridge. Every drop is just precious. That is quite chilly this morning. I've got no temperature gauge here, so I can't tell you what the temperature is, apart from it's chilly. All right, we'll close the shed up. Temperature needle is only just moving. We'll start off gently. It's damp, it's pretty miserable, very gray, and I'm cold because I forgot to do something before I left the farm. block of this tractor is the isolator for the heater in the cab. So which I turn off in the summer because it always lets a little bit of warm air through. But in the summer I don't want that, I want it cold. So I turn it off in the summer. Well, it's winter now so I turn it back on again. So now, I got the air con as well because we were getting very steamed up in here, but now I should have. Oh, yeah. Toasty. Oh, 
Okay. We're playing that game today, are we? Again. I know the lights are on. The lights are on, on purpose. Now it work. Sorted. Actually, my neighbour's hedge here, but um, we always trim our side of our neighbour's hedges because they will always trim their side of our hedges. It's just kind of the way it works. So, and as we got good neighbours, we don't mind doing it anyway. I've got a radio mic back on again now. You can probably hear me better. Okay, well, I'm just gonna quietly tickle on with this for a few hours. I haven't got that much time today. I've only got about, well, one o'clock. I've got to go home for my lunch because this afternoon I've got to take Mrs. P into Bristol for an eye test and I think she's booked one for me at the same time. So hopefully tomorrow we'll all be at a sea bear. Obviously be wrong about now, be nice. too bad. I reckon I can deal with that with them. This is old and pretty rotten this wire. It's still a pain when it happens though. Now I've got to pick it all up because I want it in my tires or their feet. I 
Okay, it's just gone midday. I'm gonna have to make tracks in a minute, so fortunately, good neighbor has um, given me consent to park this in his barn overnight, locked up safe and sound. So uh, in return, I'm gonna do a little bit of hedge trimming for him tomorrow when I get back over. At least I'm hoping to get back over tomorrow. So weather says I can and the wife says I can and everybody else says I can. We'll be back here tomorrow. We're done for today. I really would have liked to have carried on and just got on with it, but um, sometimes life just gets in the way. So I've got to have my eyes tested sometime or other. Mrs. P had hers booked in for today. She still can't drive. I got to take her, so it's a case of, well, she's booked me an appointment as well. I'll go and get my eyes tested. And then tomorrow, I know I said I'd be back here tomorrow. Well, I might not, because of course tomorrow, I'm going to market with Abby and Henry. We're gonna go and get rid of the lambs. So the ewes, um, my brother is taking them on for a couple of weeks. Uh, basically, I told him how much I wanted to sell them for, empty, and he said, okay, being the entrepreneur he is, he said, I'll put a ram on them. He said, and do the rest of the work. So not, he's paying for the hire of the ram as well. And he said, and then I'll sell them. And anything I make over that 100 quid that you want, I'll keep. It's like, okay, that's fair enough. I just want to wash my hands of them. So if he, can make, if he can make a bit of money out of them as well, then crack on. Not a problem. Right, we'll make our way home.